Come on out, you sick bastard. Found you. Gorefield. Damnedest thing to ever happen to a cartoon show. These anomalies bring nothing but pain and suffering to this world. Help! So feeble, so weak. The GOC has done nothing, nothing to advance humanity's fight against the supernatural. Well, everything's gonna change with this. Stop! <sighs> Found <sighs> you. Here, kitty kitty. Don't you want this? It looks very yummy, doesn't it? Mmm. As I can remember, I'd always wanted to kill them all. Watch out! It's powerless. I couldn't do a single thing to save my mother. Darling! Darling, speak to me. Son, run. I was ready to accept my fate. I couldn't live in a world where these monsters run rampant. It was hell on earth. Then, gunfire, brighter than the flames raining down on the monsters. Like angels culling demons with their holy lances. Let not survive. They showed me the way forward, the light to my darkness. The tool to keep on surviving, my reason for living. You've got guts, kid. I can see the fire in your eyes. The GOC could always use someone like you in our ranks. I was recruited right there and then. I faced countless anomalies in my mission against the paranormal. And I've slain them all. They don't belong in this world. But the more I kill, the less things changed. Nothing but empty glory and empty platitude. What's wrong, Salem? Don't like your metal? There's got to be more than this. What do you mean? This is nothing! Shiny metals, a nice pat on the shoulder, seriously? What about our goal? What about advancing humankind? Isn't that what we're fighting for? <sighs> Look, you're doing great work here, kid. Keep at it and soon enough, you'll work your way up to command. No, I don't care about any of that. This isn't why I joined the GOC. I wanted a better future for man. A future free of the, those freaks out there. Yeah, I know what you mean. But trust me, when you get to my position, I don't give a damn. So far, we've done nothing but waste bullets and resources, and to what effect? We need to do something big, something to wake up the masses. Here, a new mission. An anomaly known for hunting down anyone who says anything bad about Garfield. The hell? Such a thing exists? We've been keeping an eye on this one for quite some time, but it's become more active recently due to poor reception of the comic. 
You sure it ain't just some kind of fursuit? Uh, one of them uh, weird uh, hobbyists? <laughs> I wish. But no, it's a through and through paranatural threat. Christ, imagine getting killed by a cartoon cat just for mentioning something bad about it. Bad day to be Egbert. Who? <laughs> Roger Egbert. Some guy who's very critical about all things pop culture. Runs a blog that does nothing but whines and moans about movies made for nerds. Your typical hoity-toity film critic. Recently, he published a piece criticizing Garfield, making him a prime target. Find Garfield before it finds Egbert. Swoop in, kill it, save the day. It goes without saying, keep a low profile on this op. Isolate the target, then take it out. Remember, keep it out of public sight. Understood? All right, guys. SCP-3166. You have no idea how alone you are, Garfield. Or better known as Gorefield. This, uh, adorable fluffball is our main objective today. We've tracked it to a nearby city. Our mission is to lure it somewhere safe, then contain it. And I've got just the bait for it. <laughs> All right, let's move in quickly before we attract more attention. Stand down. We wait. What? If we don't intercept it now, it'll be out in the open and everyone will see it. It'll be a media nightmare then. We're moving in now. Stay down! Ignorant fools. Ah. Right on cue. The world must know the threat that's hunting us in the dark. And learn how weak and helpless we really are in their eyes. But I'll show them. I'll show them that we can fight for our future and kill them all. World, be my witness and take a stand with me! Do your worst. Stop! You'll kill it at this rate! We need to contain it, not kill it. Go after him. Come on. Stay put. We got this. As if. That's right. Come here, kitty. I made this just for you. Whoa! Ow! Stop. Mm -hmm. I've had enough of this charade. Die, monster! Hmm, that's some good lasagna. Aw, you poor thing. That was not pleasant, wasn't it? Poor thing woke up one morning in his home, but something felt off. It called out to John and Odie, but he was all alone. It looked out the window and saw only a rundown lawn just like the house. It went to the kitchen, and finally, he saw John and Odie eating at the table. Hello, Garfield. Have some food, John invited warmly. But as Garfield got closer, everything faded off into dust. It was nothing but an illusion. The kitchen was empty and shabby. There, there. Yeah, I know. I feel you, cat. Say, why don't you come back with me so we can have more lasagna together? <laughs> On, buddy, keep up. Crap. It's like they see us wherever we go. Whoa! Phew, thanks. Watch out! Whoa! A light. An exit, maybe. No time to think. Let's go. Run! We're almost there. Jump! <coughs> oh, 
we made it, right? What's wrong, buddy? No way, it can't be. The Scarlet King? I'm sorry. Fetch. Good boy. What's up, buddy? You're not your usual skippy self today. Come on, you can tell your pal Rubber. I see. So you've been thinking about your family lately. Hmm. Yes, I see. You've been thinking and worrying about all this the whole time? I get that you're worried about SCP-682, but he's been quite cooperative lately. As for SCP-610, I've made sure to keep that strawberry jam frozen real good in deep storage. But you're saying that you feel something even greater and more dangerous looming? And you're scared that you'll get snatched away and never come back? There, there. I know many unexpected things happen all the time here, but whatever it is, we'll face it together with everyone like we always do. <sighs> yes, even with Jack. Still kind of salty about what he did, though. Wait, something's wrong. Whoa, they just came out of nowhere and surrounded us. Unless you're friendly, stay away, or you're getting a taste of these bad boys. We are the devout followers of the one true king of darkness. We are here for the seventh sun. Follow us quietly, and none will be harmed. The what? It is time for the golden child to return to the side of his father's throne. The golden child? Oh, you mean 999. Come with us and reclaim your rightful place and fulfill your destiny. All shall know the wrath of our faith and the ire of the great Scarlet King! <laughs> what say you, seventh son of King of Darkness? Your dad is the Scarlet King? Jack! Hope, demon, countermeasures, back them all the way, protect all nine, whatever it takes. Jack, Jack, can you hear me? Damn it, I lost him. Are you quite done with your phone call? Well, yes, actually. Thanks for waiting. Now then, come with us. Yeah, no. If I can't convince you, then, oh my king adorned in red, grant me the power and strength to carry your will. Retrieve the seventh son, unharmed. I care not for the other one. Forward! It's coming towards us. Any ideas? Really? Do you want to do that? Well, okay then. Hey, big guy. Fetch! Oh, nice one! Cool. I just thought of a great idea. <laughs> Come over real quick. Yep, that's the one. By the name of the Scarlet King, stop right! Ah! <laughs> Ugh, your new friend's a nasty piece of work. Who's there? <laughs> Come on, buddy, keep up. Whoa! A light, an exit, maybe. Jump. The Scarlet King? Welcome, my son. It was only a matter of time until you returned to me. 
Together, we shall lay these pathetic creatures to rest. <laughs> Do you not see that life is pain? Is that not why you struggle to cure pain? Let us put an end to it by ending the curse of life. I've seen your kind before, though you're obviously even more overpowered by the looks of it. <laughs> but 999's right, he's nothing like you. The hairless monkey, it speaks. Hey, that's rude. I obviously have hair, I think. Lifespans are meaningless. You and I will remain to see even the last stars die out. So why? Why do you insist on protecting them? 999 is nothing like you. We are part of the SCP Foundation. We protect everyone from the unknown, and you'll be damn sure that we'll fight against all that harms us, even you. Return to me, or I will obliterate this insolent, hairless monkey. Let him go! He has spent too much time around the your potential has been corroded. Allow me to restore it. No, what are you doing to him? What are these vile emotions? <laughs> Are you okay? 999! Wait, where's the Scarlet King? The time has come to put an end to this trifle. Shut up! Oh, this anger coursing through me must resist. Uh, show yourself, you cowardly king! You dare call me a coward? I could torture you into the heat death of the universe. Should I count myself lucky then? It'd be way better than standing here listening to you yapping all day. Either kill us or shut up. I know you want to, especially since now you know that 999 is your mirror. He's the good in you that you sent away. I saw you when you held him. That's your big secret, isn't it? Silence, vermin. Nine, nine, nine. You're all right. Wait, we're not safe yet. We gotta. Where's your dad? I did not foresee this. So be it. Savor your last moments for the time being. I shall return with my vast armies, along with the forces of hell itself. Mark my words. The hairless monkey screams will ring until the end of time, and you will return to me. Whoa, what the heck just happened? <clears throat> Mr. Rubber, if you'd be so kind as to get off the table, it is an antique after all. What the, who are you? Could someone please fetch Dr. Bright? 
I believe we have found his lost pet. Where am I? I suppose introductions are in order. We are the O5 Council. I've heard of you. You're the people in charge of the entire Foundation. Very perceptive. Not a complete idiot, as I would have liked to believe. Rubber Nines! I'm so glad you're both safe, but how did you get into this room? We need to talk. We just met 999's father, the Scarlet King, and I think he's gonna end the world. I see. Must be an echo of his power. A what now? An echo, or fragment, a lost strand of hair, if you will. Though small, its power is anything but that. I'll say, it almost killed me and corrupted 999. If it were the real thing, the world would have ended. And it may very well happen sooner than we think. A plan is in order. Why not give Rubber a chance, since he survived the ordeal? What say we let him gather a team of his own and investigate the problem? Very well. Mr. Rubber, we of the O5 Council hereby grant you access to all of the Foundation's resources. Assemble your team and protect the world. Do not disappoint us. The world's safety is in your hands. Ooh. You, you stupid flower. Form a team, they say. All our resources at your disposal, they say. What a load of baloney. Meanwhile, I'm here all alone picking flowers for the ultimate edgelord. Shut up. Can't you see I'm busy? Really? A snake in a garden? Cliché much? Oh, is that what I think it is? Now, Abel will join my team for sure. Thanks for coming with me, 999. It's not going to be easy doing this on my own. I mean, assembling a team of uber-powerful beings to do battle against an even more OP boss? That's like something straight out of a movie. We're here. <sighs> Let's do this. Oh, Rubber and the Little Blob, what brings you here? Kane, we need your help. Will you listen to our story? Lay it on me. So, to summarize, the Foundation higher-ups have ordered you and 999 to form a team to stop the Scarlet King's impending invasion of Earth. You're now recruiting me as a member of your squad, and together, we'll find more willing individuals to join our ranks. Is that correct? Yeah, pretty much. And I assume the Foundation has other plans to help combat this threat, and they're not just gonna send you two out there to deal with the whole thing, right? That is an excellent question, to which I have no answer. Well, all right then, count me in. Thanks, Kane. You're the man. <laughs> now then, who else can we recruit to join our cause? I think I know who we can ask. I was just thinking the same thing. Rubber, Kane, my boy, and the little jelly fella. Welcome to my humble abode. I take it you're not just here to visit an old man. Yes, sir. We're here to ask for your help. Um, hi. Uh, God? We're here to... You're here to recruit me as part of your task. And an arduous task indeed. Defending against the Scarlet King's oncoming invasion will not be easy. Yet, you're chosen to take on the responsibility and have been looking for members, correct? Yes. How did you know? <laughs> I just do. Did you read my mind? I might have. What am I thinking of right now? Chocolate cake. Why would I think of chocolate cake at a time like this? 
You are thinking about it now, are you not? You... you're good. <laughs> That's enough teasing. Uh, fret not, young rubber, and friends, I will join you. That's great, sir. You will? Why the surprise? Well, I mean, you took off last time because you sensed that a significant threat was looming. This might be it. A lot has changed since our meeting, and I've done a lot of thinking. You and Kane have reminded me of many things. So, I've decided not to run away anymore. I will join you in this endeavor and provide as much support as I can. Thanks. It's not every day you get to ask God to join a fist fight, and I'm all for it. Welcome to the team, sir. <laughs> I'll be in your care. Now then, who should we approach next? I may have a candidate worth considering. Wow. Who knew we had a place like this? Sir, are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry, Kane. It'll be fine. <sighs> if you say so. Hey, watch out! <sighs> Weak. Oh, it's Abel. <sighs> Thought so. Yep. Every team must have a powerhouse, and Abel's the perfect fit. I don't know about that last part of your statement. Why have you come? Brother, we're here to... Zip it! I have nothing to say to you. If you want to talk, let your leader do the talking. Me? <coughs> ah! Brother! Try to play fool again, and I'll strike you down for good. Fine. Abel, we need your strength to fight against... If you want me to listen, then complete my challenge. Bring me a purple flower from the top of mountain... You want me to go pick flowers? Ha, huh, you're on. Sounds easy enough. It was not easy. Like, at all. Found you! Now, Abel will join my team for sure. Oh, yeah, I forgot about you. <laughs> I take it you're the boss around these parts? I don't suppose you could just let little old me leave quietly with my flower? Yes? No? Maybe? Dip, dive, and dodge. Perfect 10. <laughs> Bet you didn't see that coming, did ya? See ya, sucker. Daddy's going home with the bacon. Or, uh, flour or something. Read it and weep, Abel. I got your purple flower right here. Rubber, you've returned. Ha 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 boy! Hmm, not bad. Here you go, Abel. Just, uh, put it next to the pile over there. What? Were they always there? Did I just get trolled? No, I wanted to see if you had it in you to complete the challenge. Finding the flower itself wasn't hard. But making it there and return is a different story. So what does the flower do? Does it give you like an awesome power up? The flower makes for a good pot of tea. You are trolling me, aren't you? You've shown courage, perseverance, focus, cunning, and the mental fortitude needed to take on the world. I am a man of my word. I shall lend you my strength. Heck yeah, the dream team is coming together. Just you wait, Scarlet King, cause we're coming for ya. I know you're there. Perceptive as ever, I see. 
You felt my presence for quite some time, yet you've remained quiet. Ugh, I know you and what you're trying to do. The only reason you're talking to me is because you've yet to find success in crossing over to my dimension. What? Your lackey's not up to the task? Loyal as they are, intelligent they are not. So you do want my help. Do you even know what I do to your kind? Tread lightly, not to lump me with inferior beings. And what of your organization? They are aware of my plans, yet you've not chosen to take action. Does it not infuriate you? I know your wish, and I am not interested. However, once I am done with your world, you may do with it any way you please. A new world as you and you alone envision. By first betraying my own kind? Do you really think I'll do that? I... I accept. Splendid. Do not disappoint me. Ah, you think I don't know what you're doing here? Trading me like a foolish pawn. You'll see. When the time is right, I'll turn the tables on. The pact is sealed. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Have a favorite SCP you want to see on this channel? Leave us your suggestions in the comments down below. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more SCP content, then check out some of our other videos right here. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye!